right here I'm holding, well, on the table, the world's first versatile magnetic variable ND filter system. They're made by Freewell and you might be thinking, this is too good to be true. Well, that's what we're gonna be testing out in this video. I'm super stoked to have a full ND filter kit in one container, one little package that I can just throw in my bag and then to make things even sweeter, they're magnetic. So they literally just snap onto the front of your lens essentially, never use a system like this. So I'm super excited to test this one out. This video is not sponsored. However, Freewell did send me this filter kit to review and test out. All right, let's go ahead and unbox these things. I'm gonna make this super short, classic sort of Apple packaging. Really slowly slides out here. Feels premium. Love to see that. There we go. We have a little installation manual here with the QR code. Here's the actual filters themselves. Themselves? Themselves? I don't know. Pretty sick case. Super sick case, actually. Really stoked on this. It's actually pretty rugged. It's not like super hard, but it's definitely pretty sturdy. Easily be able to just kind of throw that in your bag and not worry about it. Open them up to reveal your seven filter system. This is sick. And there's room for more. Looks like they're all magnetized together right now. Yeah, so they all just magnetize together. Super freaking cool. I think there's another one in here. Yep, down there. Awesome. All right, so that's the unboxing. This is essentially what it looks like. This is a little bag you get. Actually really stoked on this. Let's test these things out. The only thing that we have to actually screw on as opposed to being magnetic for this kit is the base. So right here, we're gonna screw on the base, which right now I have a base variable ND filter attached to it. Super easy, just screws right on as you can see. And he, from here on out, we're all magnetic, just like the lens cap here um, is magnetic. And I think it looks super sick actually. It's a really sleek looking lens cap. It comes with seven filters, which we're gonna go over in just a second, but it's an awesome system because it's all in one. All your filters are there in one package. Now, before I dive too much into explaining what all these filters actually do, let's talk about the filters that this kit includes. First, you're getting a variable ND base, which I believe is only one stop. And that's just gonna be your standard variable ND filter. Then they've included a mist base, which gives your footage sort of a dreamy look. I love using this filter. It includes a two to five stop variable ND filter, a six to nine stop variable ND filter for those brighter conditions, a circular polarizer, and then again, for those brighter conditions, an ND32 circular polarizer. So first, why do you even need variable ND filters? Well, as you can see, they're basically sunglasses for your lens. To maintain a proper shutter speed of two times your frame rate, so one over 50 if you're shooting in 24p, if you want your footage to look cinematic, you have to have a proper shutter speed. And without an ND filter, you're just gonna have to crank your shutter to compensate for how bright the image is gonna be and it's gonna make your footage look choppy and unprofessional. The one thing I didn't love about these variable ND filters is while they do have a hard stop at the very end, they don't click between stops. So unless you're looking at the numbers, you can't really tell what stop you're at. Another note I should add is that you can remove the base filters to remove one stop of exposure if you just wanna use the ND filters. But as you can see, I had to use keys to prop it off. It is magnetic, but my tiny little fingernails uh, couldn't quite fit in the little slot. So what the heck does a circular polarizer filter do? Well, when you rotate it, it essentially cuts through reflections like a windshield in this example, and it can also cut through reflections on water or even in the sky to show a more blue, vibrant sky. Personally, I don't use CPLs a ton, but it's a handy filter to have in the bag. Now I saved my favorite filter for last, and that is the mist variable ND filter. Mist filters give your footage that cinematic sort of glowy look almost a retro look, and when you film lights especially, it really starts to show the effect. I had the mist base filter on for the majority of this video because I wanted it to have that sort of dreamy cabin cinematic feel to it. I think it looks so sick. I'd say this magnet system is great for anyone who doesn't abuse their gear too much. While they never popped off once for me during this trip, even on some hikes, 
I also wouldn't be surprised to pull a lens out one day with a missing filter. I'd probably just recommend putting the magnetic filters back in the case it comes with after using them just to be safe. So all in all, at the end of the day, would I recommend this filter system by Freewell? Absolutely. Not only is the system cost efficient as opposed to buying all seven filters individually or from some other filter companies out there on the market, but they're genuinely great quality and I have a feeling that these are going to last me a very long time. The fact that they're magnetic makes it super easy to switch between shooting photos and video, not having to unscrew your ND filter every single time you want to flip flop between the two. And as I've mentioned, the only things that I'd consider possible deal breakers are the non-clicking stops, somewhat weak magnets, and a glass lens cap here that might eventually get pretty either scratched up or dirty after some heavy use. But that being said, I completely think with this filter system, the pros outweigh the cons, and I'm very stoked to rock this system for a long time. See you guys in the next one. Peace.